Hello. Thought it were. Hello. <laughs> How are you? I'm 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 well. I'm excited. <laughs> this Good. is a big day. Yeah, really. Um, yeah. Why don't we Why don't we jump right into it here? So you've been very open uh, in sharing your story about what's been going on, because you were on tour in the states when the shit really hit the fan, right? Yeah, I mean, we'd only just started our tour, really, and then um, it all obviously, along with everybody else, uh, it, it all came to a crashing halt. Yeah. Uh, and uh, sheltered in place in 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 Connecticut. I was I was going to be off with um, uh, Daphne Lee Martin, who mm -hmm. I saw you had on the other yeah, just the last week. But uh, unfortunately, yeah. that was, I think two or three in the morning here, and I was dead to the world. But um, uh, yeah, we were going to be doing that, and uh, yeah. So I've 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 returned to the homeland, and yeah. uh, it's saga for sure. Well, let let's start with this. Why don't you say who you are? where you are sure. currently and what you do. Okay, uh, well, my name's Kieran Ledwidge uh, and I am a violinist, uh, pianist and guitarist. Um, and uh, I'm currently in, in, I'm in Sydney. That's my home city. Mm -hmm. uh, and I just left here. I just left here actually <laughs> in, in, in January. And granted, I mean, at the time, there were already warnings of this occurring, but I didn't really have anything governmentally actionable to say, well, no, I shouldn't go across. And, you know, we had this whole tour plan, so I'm, I'm not, you know, I had to uh, make sure I honour that commitment. Um, but, uh, yeah, so partway through that tour um, with Daphne, we got the, uh, the word from the Australian government that uh, all citizens should return home as soon as possible because um, they can't guarantee, unfortunately, that flights would continue. And further, my travel insurance, generous as they are, had decided that um, they basically straight up told me that uh, they almost certainly wouldn't cover me for any hospital expenses to do with uh, contracting corona over there. Yeah. And I thought, well, you know, health insurance, why should they insure your health? It's insuring their business. That's right. Um, so, yeah, that's... Uh, uh, that sort of sealed the deal for me. Uh, I thought I, I really had to return as soon as possible. And um, in the interim, um, specifically where I am right now, I'm uh, in a room that I've been quarantined in for the last two weeks. And this is a big day, I was saying, because this is the day I get released into the yes. wild. Um, <laughs> Within the next uh, two hours, right? Yes, exactly. I've, that's, that's my scheduled departure time, whether or not they... Uh, Honor that is a bit in the lap of the gods. They they did give us warning to say that um, due to requirements of social distancing and the extreme volume of people that they have in this, it's a hotel is where I'm I'm at. Um, mm -hmm. They will have to space us out in a way that may not necessarily be our ideal departure time, um, which is fair enough. Um, but uh, no, I've I've uh, been in this room without. Um, I've, I've not been allowed to leave this room for the last two weeks, and the room doesn't actually have any windows that open, um, which was oh. a bit of a startling, <laughs> frustrating discovery. Um, but uh, otherwise, they've been treating us really wonderfully, uh, three meals a day, um, and they just drop them off at the door, and we have to wait 10 seconds and then pick them up so that we don't risk, you know, exposure or exposing sure. anyone to things. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, um, that's wild. Times, certainly. I mean, you don't, you know, obviously I'm not, it's no news there, but like, <laughs> I don't know. It's a, a very, yeah. So when you were in Connecticut, I, I encourage anybody who watches this to follow you on Instagram specifically for your stories. I love your Instagram stories. You're ah. really good at it. But when you were in Connecticut, you were doing some fun, like, uh, you know, everybody named the cover and then the next day you would post the the answer and the full cover and whatever. And then, and then you had, you knew you had to come home. So tell me a little bit about what the process was like to get home. Cause your travel plans even got changed oh, in the middle of it. Right. God, uh, no, I know it was, uh, it was a bit, it was honestly, it was terrifying. I, I had three flights cancel in all in the process of getting home. Um, one actually only once I reached the airport because I was going to be taking an air Canada flight from 
Newark, New Jersey to Toronto to Vancouver to Sydney was my intended flight plan. And literally overnight, the Canadian government had changed their policy such that um, if you weren't a Canadian citizen, you, even if you're not staying in the country, didn't intend to stay in the country, which was not allowed, um, you couldn't make more than one stop through the country. So as an Australian, despite our Commonwealth connection, uh, I was not allowed to do that. So the airport staff was very helpful and immediately reorganized my flight plans to go from there to San Francisco and then wait 10 hours and then go from there to Sydney. Um, and it was just, I don't know, I, I, I tallied it up because I was trying to understand why it was that I felt as awful as I did by the end of it. And uh, it was 41 hours, I think, in transit. In wow. Um, and that would so do it. <laughs> the hotel room was extremely welcome, welcoming at that point. Um, but uh, yeah, so it was um, uh, a, a bit of a sudden uprooting and um, I, I, I don't know. I, I was really getting into the covers, actually. I was really enjoying doing that. Um, I expect to return to that, <laughs> um, that effort shortly, um, probably once I'm, I'm out of here. Um, but uh, yeah, and just general sort of composition too. I don't know. Yeah. Um, yeah. And what was the process when you got back to Sydney to get to where you are physically right now? Yeah. So, well, um, uh, it was, they, they held us on the tarmac, I think for maybe a, an hour and a half or so, because they had taken, they'd made the decision to process each plane individually, which is a smart choice, honestly. So that, you know, if there was something on one plane, it wouldn't be spreading, hopefully, to another. Um, but uh, it was a surprisingly packed flight, unfortunately. Um, so that, that, you know, people got a bit antsy. Um, I think all in all, actually, people, though, have been, has been surprisingly good because it's, it's obviously a stressful situation. And um, uh, I think generally people have been handling it very well. So um, we... Yeah, so we are held there for a little while, and then we got off and we did this sort of a, it was a health screening where they did just a temperature check and a questionnaire. It wasn't, it wasn't um, a COVID-19 test um, as such, but um, just sort of trying to establish whether or not, you know, people were showing any kinds of signs. Right. Um, so we did that and then did the regular uh, customs immig immigration stuff. And then lined up all through, all with like 1.5 meter social distancing um, requirements to make sure that we're not spreading anything that we could have probably spread to each other throughout the flight. But I was wearing my mask all the way through anyway. And um, not that I didn't have respect for the, the, the medical um, professional professions um, uh, already with uh, with what was going on, but um, having lived firsthand, uh, what twelve hours plus of wearing one of those masks is, I, I, I'm not sure. I'm sure you you may have seen those pictures that the the poor staff have posted of what their faces look like after twelve hours of wearing these yeah. these masks. Um, extraordinarily painful, and they're heroes, all of them. I don't, I don't, yeah. Um, uh, so yeah, anyway, um, we got through all of that, the customs immigration stuff, and then we're just lining up waiting for buses that would take us to whatever hotel the government had deemed, um, appropriate for housing us. And, yeah. um, as, as luck would have it, actually, the one that they ended up putting us up in, I don't really understand what the deal is here, but it's, it's a pretty plush room. I think it's like a four, five star hotel under normal circumstances. Um, so I don't know, maybe the politicians have, you know, kids who have been abroad or, or they're, they've got mates who run these hotels or something, if I'm being cynical, but uh, in whatever it is, uh, I really appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so how have you been passing the time since you've been there? Oh, it's, uh, well, it's been ideal circumstances for, um, uh, for music, honestly, just a lot of violin and I will find out, I guess today, whether or not I've been driving my neighbors to distraction. <laughs> um, 
Uh, but yeah, a lot of, uh, a lot of violin, um, uh, I've, I've written a couple, uh, I called them isolation meditations, um, while I was, uh, here making use of, uh, my newfound, well, I'd, I'd been meaning to download the Acapella app for a while, um, because I'd seen some really cool things done with it. And, um, outside of my work with, um, uh, well, I so I often play with um, semi plug. Sorry, I know we're not. That's okay. But, uh, That's with okay. Martin and um, with Christopher Paul Stelling, and I saw that you had him on the other day too. Yeah, um, that was and... how you and I met, I think, when you were touring with him, right? <laughs> exactly, because I was trying to think back, and it was like, "That's right, it was on on tour with Chris." Yeah. Um, and um, so, uh, and uh, and my band Miracles Modern Science. Outside of that, I do. Um, soundtrack a lot of soundtrack production work um and uh so i'm i'm quite used to and miss um the process of putting together uh large string parts um and uh so it's a very cool bit of technology that means that with just a phone i can you know do somewhat what i'm able to do with a, a regular recording setup um so uh, I put those together um, as just a, I don't know, I mean, it was, it was a bit of an intense experience to, uh, to travel from the US to here and then to just generally be faced with uh, incredible uncertainty, as we all are, um, with what comes next and how we continue to make uh, all of this possible. Um, and uh, so I, I just sort of, it was it was as much I guess a therapeutic process as anything else for me, um, and then also as, as as anything else. And then I sort of you know I thought well, sure I know I'm not special and unique in the stresses that this is obviously imposing, um, and so you know maybe it might be similarly helpful. So I've I've, I've put together a couple of those um, now, and uh, I think I might continue with that too because. Um, I've quite, yeah, quite enjoyed that. Everything you've posted has been so lovely. Oh, thank you, thank <laughs> you. Yeah, it. Um, I think it it's it's probably been mentioned, but um, uh, you know the I, I'm not sure when, if ever. I mean, I'm sure it will at some point come back live music. I don't. I, it's it's very it's a very scary prospect. It's what we all love to do and be a part of. Um, uh, but, um, uh, you know, I'm grateful for obviously the technology that can enable us to continue to connect oh, yeah. and, and interact. Um, but it's still a pretty different experience to play for a screen. Mm -hmm. It's just exactly the same. <laughs> um, so, uh, it's, it's, it's nice to talk and sort of like, know that you've not been putting your things out into the void and, you know, there's, uh, nothing else to be had of it. So, um, thanks. Sure. What comes next? You get to be jailbroken from there pretty soon. <laughs> uh, I do. Hopefully within the next few hours and then, uh, you'll get to go home and then, um, what's the plan after that? Um, yeah, well, they, with what you're doing. Yeah. Uh, I guess, um, really sort of regroup. I, 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 I was, I was given a health screen. Okay wristband um admittance to the festival that is getting out of here um, and uh just yesterday and they also very proud of this presented me with a little award for congratulations you made it through quarantine which as far as i can tell is just uh thanks for coming and staying um award to and, <laughs> and my name's now room actually so just thought i'd update that room 0604 Ledwidge is who it's been awarded to. So yeah, that's put that in a frame awesome. and hang that on the wall. Exactly. I actually had a mate suggest the other day that um, if and when put together a recording studio, that should be the name of it, and it should just be framed up there on the wall. I think it's a phenomenal idea. That's a great um, idea. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I think, given also the, I don't know, semi tragic prospect of of what it is that we do now. Um, recording is probably going to be a big part of it, um, you know, in, in all senses. So yeah, it's not a silly idea, I suppose, but, um, uh, 
yeah, so once I'm out, uh, I'm going to keep doing more recording. Um, I have, uh, there's a, a mate who um, runs a licensing company who I've done the odd submission for, and he's got all sorts of things in the works, but obviously I've not had the, the gear to make it happen. Um, so I plan on doing a bit of work with him and, um, and hopefully with, uh, with Chris and with Daphne and honestly, anyone who's, who's keen to collaborate, um, mm -hmm. by distance, um, uh, from, uh, by means of, of recording gear that I've, I've got available, um, at home. Uh, that's my current plan, but also, oh, also though, um, I've, I've thought it'd be nice since typically I've not done any, um, any teaching, uh, recently because my schedule has been too all over the place to maintain, um, any kind of regular schedule. Um, I do quite love that. And I was thinking of, of maybe, uh, starting up as a lot of my friends have, um, Skype lessons for whoever, mm -hmm. sure. uh, is in. so for whoever's interested, say hello. Uh, and you know, we can, we can sort out some violin lessons uh, or theory lessons or yeah. Uh, whatever you're up for really. Um, so that's, that's my immediate plan. Um, uh, I'm still wrapping my head around all of it, obviously. Uh, and, and the situation's changing, you know, daily almost. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> I'm not, I'm not sort of uh, setting anything else in stone um, just by virtue of that. Um, oh yes, exactly. Uh, Alessandra, my friend there's a uh, name of the next album should be room zero six zero four. That's also an excellent idea. Thank you. Uh, um, um, so let's see. Um, this is a similar question, I guess, but what are you most looking forward to when all of this is behind us and we're able to freely move around um, and get back to whatever the new normal will be? What are you most excited to, to be able to do? Uh, play music with people in the same room. <laughs> and, then, and then, you know, uh, long, long goal to make music with those people for other people also, <laughs> also in the same room. <laughs> uh, just like... Uh, small <laughs> small goals um that would be really lovely i think one of the things that um was interesting um in the process of recording those the uh, compositions with the acapella app was that i was trying to approach it like as if um it was an ensemble of of different players and the best thing about playing in an ensemble i love ensemble playing um is that you get to play off each other and the process of assembling that in the acapella app is, you know, it's cool again that it's possible. Thank you. Um, but uh, it's, you know, you're sort of locked into whatever your previous performance was. So I found myself sort of going back to earlier performances to redo them, to then play off the later performances to try and sort of like average that out in like mm -hmm. how it might play out if it was somehow possible to have live seven players in the room together but um i miss that interaction basically uh and uh i think you know if if only we had the the internet power to make it possible to do uh live streams from different rooms um of musicians playing together that would be the dream yeah. sign get on that <laughs> uh, uh so that's that's i guess the uh the main thing I'm looking forward to. Um, and I, I guess I have just general worry and concern for, um, for everyone in, uh, in music for exactly how, um, how, how we're going to do this. Um, I, I really hope, like I know a lot of people, live performance is the, uh, is the thing that they, they, they do. Um, and, uh, yeah, I guess the uncertainty of not knowing when this will end is is a real concern for me. So um, anything all you lovely people can do to support all of us is, is a wonderful thing. That's a good segue. Um, number one, where can we find more information about you and what you do? And number two, how can we best support you and people like you, maybe if you want to mention that too, uh, during this time? 
for sure. Um, well, there's, I mean, if you're here, you're already doing a wonderful job. You're already, you know, doing a lot of right things. Um, but uh, uh, for me personally, uh, I guess I have just a, uh, I hate being the guy to be like, like and subscribe, but I have a YouTube channel and um, uh, I actually was not aware of this uh, until I started um, my, my, my own. Uh, that YouTube locks a whole bunch of different features until you reach a certain number of subscribership, among which is the ability to rename your channel URL. And so currently I'm youtube.com slash channel XQY37 <laughs> right. question mark. And uh, it would be really nice to change that. And that happens at 100 subscribers and I'm like at 71. So uh, I... I'm really loathing the process of having to be like, hey guys, if you could, could you possibly, you know, click the button? Um, but that would be helpful. As small as it is, that would be really lovely. Um, mm -hmm. That, um, I don't um, uh, necessarily have anything solid lined up, but I would like to produce more, um, more music with the intent of trying to make this process uh, experience, I guess, a bit easier for everybody um, soon. And I'll, I'll be putting that up in as many places as I can really. So here on, on Instagram, I have a uh, Facebook artist page. Um, I've had actually gotten some lovely requests to put it together in a Spotify playlist. Um, so I'll look into that. Um, but um, so I think that's probably the thing. Um, other than that, I'd say um, generally uh, to people uh, tuning into live streams, um, generally from from artists is 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 a wonderful support because um, it's a it's very much a two way street, I suppose. It, as as frustrating as it is, as I was saying, to to play just for a screen and the the mirror image of yourself, which is a bit you know settling um it's uh i guess um a, a wonderful way i think for for everybody to help deal with the, the the trauma of this situation and there is the added benefit of it of it perhaps helping you the viewer um absolutely through a bit more easily um mm -hmm. uh that's that's my suggestion i'm sure i'm missing out a bunch of wonderful other ones but you know I hope, I hope in the general aggregate of interviews that you're doing and this is a wonderful wonderful thing you're mm. doing too um I, I, I really appreciate the uh uh the the opportunity just to have a have a chat um and talk about all this stuff because that in itself is a rather therapeutic process this is a bit of a scary time thank you yeah <laughs> i appreciate you taking the time to do it especially on the day you're about to be finishing i mean very very early in the morning where you are and you're about to be finishing the two week stint in the hotel by yourself um yeah. so i appreciate it extra that that you're able to do it today um and i appreciate you tuning in to them throughout the last few weeks too it's been fun to see whose name pops up in the chat so Oh, well, it's it's been lovely. I wish I could have made it along for more, but unfortunately, due to the time difference, it falls between like one in the morning and where we are now, which is I think we started at seven. Um, yeah. So yeah, I don't know, jet lag notwithstanding. But you're going to archive these, aren't you? You're going to put them up, hopefully. Uh, yes, they'll be on the Cable House Presents YouTube page. It's been taking a little while, but we're figuring out the process better. So hopefully, within a week, I'll have them posted. Uh, and then I can put on, you know, links and tags and things like that, which is, um, I think, a little more helpful than, you know, when we're just in here. Um, so, sure. yeah, yeah, I'll let you know when it's up. Absolutely, because I'd, I'd love to miss, I'd love to catch all the people who I've missed along the way. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Well, well, thank you so much, Kieran, and good luck for the rest of this uh, journey that you're going through. I hope that today goes smoothly and you get home safe and sound and this part is behind you quickly. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Lovely chatting with you. You too. Thank you so much. Stay safe. Be well. You too. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye.